Hey everybody, this is Kestrel Lemon, your senior strategist over here at Saguno Software. Now Shopify just released a new guide, it's a three-part guide, on commerce. One part is around e-commerce, the next is retail, and the final is shipping and logistics. This is a hefty guide. It's got a lot of information in it, and I've read it several times so that I could break it down for you and bring you some of my hottest takes from the guide and what you need to be paying attention to now. So let's go ahead and get started. The future of retail. The big thing that I got from the future of retail guide was that we are seeing more of a push for in-store. If you don't have a retail shop or maybe you lost it during the pandemic, because of the overhead costs, then it might be time to think about doing some pop-ups during the, during the spring. So you could do a pop-up by yourself, you could do it in an existing store, you could get a group of people together to do a pop-up. There's lots of different options, but it's a chance for you to test the waters. And it gives people an experience with your brand that they don't normally have online. And speaking of that, I would say the big trend that we're seeing from a lot of brands and retailers is that they're going to use their store now more than ever as a true brand experience, as a showroom, as a place where you get to see the brand, touch the product, smell the brand. You get to interact with the brand enthusiasts that are the employees of the store. We're trying to raise the level of engagement and interactivity within the retail space. We want it to be a bigger, better, funner experience. So that could mean that maybe people are going to the retail space to experience your brand, but then maybe they're purchasing back at home. So what some brands have done is make their actual footprint of their retail shop a little bit smaller and then utilize the rest of the area for order fulfillment. Which leads me to my next point. And that is about omni-channel marketing, which I know gets used a lot, but essentially, and for the point of this video, we're gonna say that omni-channel really relates back to the idea that all of your transaction data is in a central location and can be accessed in many different ways. So if you're on Shopify, utilize Shopify POS so that when people go into the store and buy something and later on they wanna reference it, that data is there and they can do something with it online if they want to or vice versa. They can buy online, pick up in the store, back and forth. Now the final thing that really stu stood out to me in the future of retail was all about staffing. So you may have had to decrease your staff during COVID and now you're thinking about ramping it back up. And I think employee happiness really should be a top priority because essentially these are going to become your brand ambassadors. And if people are finally going back out into the real world and experiencing a real retail space, you want them to have a positive experience. And one of the best ways to do that is with someone who really loves your brand as your employee. Also, live shopping has definitely become a bigger and bigger trend. So think, yeah, legit QVC, people trying on the product, showing off the product and streaming that live or having it as video on the site. And it makes sense that this got really popular because people were doing more buying online at home. But I think that it'll stay around because videos of products in three dimensions are powerful. So it could be that your employees are going to need to perform these live shopping videos and it might be something you wanna hire for. All right, well, those are some hot takes from this recent guide. Please let me know what you thought, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.